Here are four ways to stream on TikTok Live from your Mac in 2024. And yes, I am on Windows, but I've worked with hundreds of Mac users, so I can confirm all the methods in this video are working. Firstly, methods one and two need a stream key. Luckily, you can get these from a free to join creator network, AKA agency, and most networks accept you anywhere from zero to one million followers. So on my website in the description, I have a verified list of agencies, and you can also scroll down the page a bit and watch this video explainer if you want, and that will give you a lot more detail. There's really no downside because they're free to join and you can leave them easily as well. Again, this list of agencies is in the description. So once you have your stream key, our first method is simply use a browser-based streaming service. This means absolutely no downloads required. And today we are using the sponsor of this video, which is Riverside. Riverside is in the description along with a discount for their paid features. Now, as you can see here, I can multi-stream for Riverside or I could just choose TikTok and enter my stream key. But the great thing about Riverside is once you're done, you can edit your live stream and you can then publish it to YouTube or you can use the AI tools or just the editor to create vertical clips as well. So let's start with the live streaming segment on Riverside. I just hit go to studio. You just choose your camera, microphone, speakers, etc. I'm not gonna be using headphones and I'll click join studio. And then to get to the live streaming settings, I just hit the settings cog at the top and click onto live stream. And as you can see, I've set my live stream to 1080p. I've hit the watermark. The live stream chat's not relevant for TikTok. And then you just click on TikTok and add your stream key. Don't forget, by the way, the stream key changes every time. So you'll have to get a new one from the live center. And all you would do, you would copy it over from here into Riverside every time you go live. As you probably saw earlier, you also have this invite button. So if you're doing a podcast or you just want to easily add guests, all you do is send them the Riverside link. And also, if you still want to use your OBS, all you do is start the virtual camera and then head back into the Riverside settings and change your camera to the OBS virtual camera. And as you can see, my OBS scenes are now inside Riverside. As I mentioned though, once you're done live streaming on Riverside, you then get the VOD of the live stream where you can edit it. So let me click into this short stream I did a while ago and I can just head into the editor. I'll create a new edit. I'll change it into vertical because it was already vertical. And as you can see, I can just edit it based on the transcript of the live stream. And it's also already given some summaries along the bottom. But on top of that, we also have the AI producer at the top with a lot of different tools. I always like removing pauses from my videos just so there's no empty space. And also if I head back out of this and I scroll down a little bit, we've got this magic clips feature and this is gonna use AI to generate some short clips from our live stream. And just a few seconds later, look at all these different clips that it's created. We can of course click into each one to refine the clip. And then once we're happy with it, we just export it in the top right corner. So thank you Riverside for sponsoring this segment. Once again, it's linked in the description with a discount on the paid plans. And again, if you need a TikTok live stream key to use Riverside, check the description as well. Now, speaking of stream keys, our second method uses the classic, which is OBS Studio. All you have to do is just download the Mac version of OBS Studio from the website. I'll put it in the description. And then once again, you need a stream key from a free to join agency. And again, the stream key changes every time. So you just copy and paste that into OBS every time you go live. Two places usually you would do that. If you're using Atom Vertical, you click into the settings and you paste it into the streaming section. Or if you're using the regular canvas on OBS, you click into the regular canvas settings and you paste it into the stream segment. I'll put my detailed 2024 OBS streaming guide in the description. That will walk you through from start to finish how to set up an OBS live stream. Now, quite similar to OBS is Streamlabs desktop. You can use a stream key on Streamlabs, but there is also an application form where you can apply directly to TikTok to get access to Streamlabs. As you can see, they've confirmed here that Mac users can use it. So I'll put the Streamlabs application form in the description. I'll put my affiliate link to Streamlabs Ultra if you want to multi-stream in the description, but you can also just use the free version of Streamlabs. And if you want even more detail, I'll also put my 2024 Streamlabs guide there too. And finally, we have TikTok Live Studio. And straight away, you're probably saying, Harry, it's only available for Windows. And yes, that is correct. So of course, you then need a Windows emulator. 
I've heard from multiple people that Parallels works well with this. So I'll put my Parallels affiliate link in the description. You could also try Bootcamp. I don't know if it works with Bootcamp, but basically get your Windows emulator running, download Live Studio inside the emulator, and then just set up Live Studio. If you need a Live Studio setup guide, I'll put my 2024 Live Studio guide in the description. And I'll also put that video on screen now alongside my Streamlabs video and my OBS setup video as well. And subscribe if you found this useful.